Hello everyone, my name is Dani Peritasari and I'm from the Center for Structural Strength Technology, BRIND. And today I will present my research title is the application of the Indonesian Green Building Rating System for Sustainable Building. As we know, nowadays we are uh, facing the global warming and climate change. And one of the causes is high consumption of air conditioning to achieve the more comfort. And this thermal comfort is not only affect the high consumption of electricity, but also increase the environment heat. So this is why building consume most of the electricity, like um, so presently residential building consume 60% of the electricity. And the other one is for transportation, 41%. So building envelope had a key role to in reducing cooling and lighting and the consumption. So people always, um, especially for in, work in building sector and government, encourage uh, people or owner to build a green building. And because the building envelope is compromised of Package components such as wall and fenestration system, such as window that divide the interior of the building from the exterior environment. And this building and floor can provide protection from the element of external environment, such as heat, radiation, wind, rain, and noise. So, if you design uh, the envelope clearly and perfectly, it will. Uh, assume can reduce the electricity consumption of the building. That is why um, Indonesian government now is create a new regulation uh, to reduce the electricity consumption called Penilaian Kinerja Bangunan Gedung Hijau. And it uh, consists of seven different categories from the site. Management, energy efficiency, water efficiency, indoor environment, quality, sustainable material, waste management, and wastewater management. And this requirement is used for residential building, upper fourth floor office building, commercial building, healthcare building, and other commercial building. The project must meet the practice site and credit requirement to achieve the certification. And there is a for three kind a three different certification level, Utama, Madia, and Kotama. And then, however, in Indonesia, it's only 20 new buildings that using this certification. And this is so sad that as we know that there, there's a lot of uh, middle and high rise building in Indonesia, but only 20%, 20 building register as using this certification. Why? Maybe it's difficult to understand. That's it's why um, we try to analyze this and apply this system in both Jakarta and Nusantara. Nusantara is a uh, new um, land capital city in Indonesia. So we want to compare this both. And then we categorize in three kind of um, scale first is easy second medium and plus is hard and then we try to use it in simple house designs is and then we prioritize in site management and energy efficiency since this both um requisite is uh, almost 50 percent of all the analysis and then for the site management, the majority of credit categorized as medium, and then one is categorized as hard, is site management. And then Indonesian housing is mostly developed by government and private companies, especially in Jakarta and Penajam Pasir Utara. So to achieve this category, the owner, the government and developer must collaborate. Among the credit marked as easy are building orientation, site management, open space, pedestrian area, parking, and lighting system. 
second is energy efficiency is uh, categorized as hard and medium. Medium is input and flow, cross ventilation, lighting, transport, and electrical system. And the hard is our air circulation energy, energy efficiency because both of these calculations need a software to and a specific knowledge to calculate and understand the result. And then the water efficiency is one is calculated easy and then the other medium and the other one is hard. This is because um, to improve the efficiency of water use, uh, a measuring device is needed. So a detailed plan and calculation are needed for the installation. In addition, the technology should be adapted from the site condition. So if we do not know the condition of the site, it's difficult to apply this one. Aside from water management and efficient use, vegetation will should be received the attention as we know that uh, vegetation also one of uh, factor that produce the water. So this category could be include the guide to design and planning the water efficient landscape. And then the other is in the air quality, one is calculated easy and the other one is hard. Easy because we just uh, provide the space for smoking area and it's hard because uh, the building have a risk to accumulation CO and CO2 con concentration and in their parking space. And the technology of the exhaust fan need to be complete with the sensor system. And then the other is sustainable material. It's also calculated as hard since uh, this precocide uh, mandatory to use ecolabeling labeling material and the labeling should be available in the shop and other part, but it's usually difficult to find and because there's insufficient information about the labeling, so it's difficult to persuade the sustainable material. And then for the waste management is the majority as hard because it's necessary to collaborate with between the owner, designer, urban planner, and government in order to organize the waste. And the wastewater management also calculate it's hard because this post place not yet incorporated into current construction practice. And then we try to calculate for uh, to the simple house and hit this house is designed with passive house to reduce the electricity so from the envelope design it's get the full point because it's not using the uh, air conditioner system it's using a uh, natural air conditioning uh, natural air circulation and then for the lighting system it's not maximized because in the bathroom there's only a small amount of uh, light. And then for the transportation inside the building, it's calculated for full mark because it's only one, uh, one um, level of building. And then for the energy analysis, we do a, a, a simple simulation and it shows that um, the average is month, the energy consumption of modern house is lower to 1.5%. So in this case, the design is earned to 0.5 points. For the electrical system, we don't need a point for this one because it's not included to the design. And as a result, 80% of the point were achieved with this design. And then uh, for the conclusion, uh, the application of a rating system is uh, for this house is heavily on discuss more all the st stakeholder, including architect, engineer, and government and communities. And Indonesian expert in the building sector should take part in the contribute in this project. For the future research, it will continue to develop focusing on the external design, not only 
the building but also surrounded area thank you for listening